Hey, welcome guys. Today, I will explain how to search and add items using both uh, Wallet Monitor and through the supplier itself. Now to start, we should enter the Search and Add Item tab. You see that? Then on the left under Supplier, we choose from a drop-down menu the supplier that we want to get a product from. So let's take AliExpress, for example, and, and try searching for a pin. Okay, when the results from AliExpress show up, you'll see a gray or white square on the right of each row. The gray color means the product is already added to one of my stores. Uh, if the square is white and not colored, it means I haven't added the product yet. You can see that I had uploaded a decent amount of pins to my shop. I have a store selling only pins. Okay, in each added, uh, the, the gray square items, in each of those added items, I can choose to click on Save, Edit, or Delete. It means I could add it to an additional store, I could edit the current product, or I could delete it altogether from my store. For a new product that hasn't been added to one of my stores, those are the ones with the white square, by clicking on Save, I can save it in the wallet without actually uploading it yet. Now, once it's saved, I can edit its headline, price, and a few other details before uploading it. I can also simply choose a store from the drop-down menu here, and then click on List to Store, and it will be added to my chosen store. It took me only a few seconds to get the item to be available in my store. And I don't need to wait, and I can go on uploading more and more items to it. Another great feature is the possibility to search for each of the items in other sites as well. I can choose one pin from the list I've got from AliExpress and search for it in eBay, Walmart, or Amazon. The search is done by the item's headline, so if there is no matching headline, or it's too long or too short, I can always search it manually. Let's take an already added item. Check in which store it's available and decide whether I want to continue selling it or not. I will do that by pressing on the Edit button, which will take me to a screen containing all the relevant information that I need. I can see that this product is listed in a Shopify store. Um, I can see the name of the store and edit its properties. And we'll talk about that process more in the Wallet tab video. Uh, I'll go back to the previous page with the search results and show you another simple way to upload products, which I personally really like, and I use it to upload dozens and hundreds of products in a single day. Let's say I found a high-selling product in Amazon, and I want to upload it. On the right side of the screen, there will be a green button saying Save and List. Clicking on that will open a window with an option to edit the source price, uh, the suggested price to offer to my customers, and quantity. These are the options for an eBay store, which I set from the platform as default. Now if I change the destination to Shopify store, for example, I'll see different options that were also set by me as default to Shopify this time. Of course, you can change the default settings of how to calculate your selling price. For example, uh, double than your source price uh, and select a new price with different calculations as you wish. When you're done editing the options, you can leave the checkbox at the bottom marked and press Save and List or only save it in Wallet Monitor for now if you decide to postpone the upload for later. In that case, you should uncheck the mark and then click on Save. When the product is saved, a message will be shown at the bottom of the screen. You don't need to wait until this message appears. You can continue adding the next items and they will be added automatically. Okay, let's go back to the Search tab and try searching in eBay this time. Okay, let's go back to the Search tab and try searching in eBay this time. Here you'll have some additional tools and filters available only for eBay, like searching by seller's name. That way you'll be able to see all the items a given seller sells. If you see he sells a lot of Chinese products from AliExpress, you'll know to go and look for products there. Same goes for Amazon, Walmart, and eBay. 
Let's give it a try. Click on Search in AliExpress. You get a few results here that, that have the same product headline that you've chosen. Choose one of them, click on the green button, Save and List. For now, let's uncheck the mark, only saving it to Wallet Monitor for now. Then go back to Wallet Monitor, enter the Wallet tab, refresh it, and you will see that product there. Now you can click on this new product and edit its settings. We'll explain all about that in a different video, don't worry. Going back to Search and List Item tab, same as we did for eBay and AliExpress, we can do it for the other suppliers. We'll now search for PIN in Walmart, for example, and we'll choose one item from the results list and search it in Walmart. The tool found the product, and you'll see here too the button for uploading the product to your store in one click. Only now the button color is orange, and it's called List More, which means I have already added it to one of my stores. If I search for a pin again here on Walmart, just to help you understand a bit more, all the products with the orange button we see here are already in my stores, whereas the green buttoned items are not on any of my stores yet and they are available for me to upload, same way as I showed you previously. I could only save it to the wallet monitor or upload it to as many stores as I would like. In case the product has more than one variation to it, as we usually see in eBay, Amazon, and AliExpress, wallet monitor will get all of them, and you'll be able to decide later whether you want to publish all of them or only some of them. Using the Edit section in the Wallet tab, simply uncheck the variations you don't want to sell in your store. Okay, this is it on how to search and list products, both using Wallet Monitor and through manual search in the supplier's website. Hey, good luck, and we'll see you guys in the next video.